Are you tired of outdated Unity tutorials? Let me introduce you to the most complete Unity tutorial series, where I make a 2D platformer from start to finish. Hey everyone, this is Outrage. So, in the last tutorial we started walking. Now we are going to jump. First of all, create a ground layer for the ground. And let's code. I will create a script called player jump. In this one we are going to need some variables. The most important one is the rigid body of our player. Now we need the float variable jump speed, a bool variable that is going to check if the player is on the ground, and the layer mask variable in which we are going to store the ground layer. I will also create 4 more variables, you are going to see why. Let's set the RB variable equal to the player's rigid body 2D component. Now we are going to draw. Let's set the color to red and use the draw cube function to draw a box using those four variables. I hear you ask, why? Let me explain. I will go in the inspector and set the jump speed and the ground mask accordingly. Now, by using those variables, you can see that you can modify the box as you wish. This box is going to check whether you touch the ground or not. Of course, the values of those variables will differ from game to game. So now that we know where we want it to be, I will set the isGroundedBool variable to true when this box is touching the ground. And if the user presses the up button, and the player is on the ground, then guess what, we will jump, just by setting the y velocity of the rigid body equal to the jump speed. Let's test it. Whoa, it is too much. I will increase the gravity a little bit. You can see that the collision is weird. That will be solved just by setting the collision detection to continuous. So, is that it? No. Check this out, I will create another ground game object and place it right there. You can see that our player is stuck. This happens because the default material of our box has friction. So I will create a physics material 2D with no friction and I will place it right there. Cool. 
school. We're almost there. If you don't want your player to flip like that, you will need to disable the rotation on the Z axis right here. Now I will add an east jumping variable in our player variable script and set it equal to the opposite of is grounded. So if the player is not on the ground, he is jumping. One last thing I want to show you is this one. If you want the movement of the player to be smoother than it is now, you can choose interpolate. And that's it. If you want to have the project files, check out my Patreon page. A big thanks to my lovely patrons. Also, join my Discord server or comment down below if you have any questions. Bye!